Well, when you think of ground covers, you think of Little Prince. I'm with Nick. We're out here at Little Prince today. And Nick, there are some areas that are just really tough to get some ground covers in. There are, especially when it's under um, an eave of a um, house or um, underneath a huge tree. And so we, we like to talk about our dry shade ground covers today. And so um, let's start on over here. Okay. We've got our epimediums, which uh, are, um, they kind of clump a little bit, but they do like to kind of have that heart-shaped foliage come on out. Right, because so, you, know, you look at those and that's just, you know, the foliage mm -hmm. is beautiful. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. it's got a great bloom. It does have a great bloom. And if we look over here at the blooms, it's got some nice dangling tendrils here. And it, it just looks beautiful. And so um, what we do uh, like to do is uh, put this into the ground. And of course, you don't want to forget it for that first year. You're going to want to um, kind of pay attention to it a little bit. Um, give it uh, its water and its nutrients. You don't want to just leave it and let it struggle. Right. You're going to want to kind of give it a little bit of tender care. But um, you do, uh, after it gets that first year of growth, then it's kind of pretty hardy there. You know, because it is easy this time of year, you know, when it's, we're getting lots of rain, but you know, those areas of the yard that you kind of forget about because you think it's mm -hmm. raining all the time, exactly. but they still stay dry. So we do need to watch exactly, that. Exactly, exactly. So we've got our upper medium rubrum here and our purple pixie. And um, now we're going to start talking about our Oxalis oregana, which is a native um, species here. Uh, and what's really cool, um, I actually didn't know this before working here, but oxalis comes from the Greek word oxy, which is acidic. And it's actually for the juices are actually a little bit acidic, which is pretty oh, cool. Interesting. Mm -hmm. And this is kind of a cool one. This one's what I call it, ruby. Oh yeah, the ruby, it's called the ruby because of the color underneath the foliage here. It's really nice kind of that ruby red, which is amazing. It's beautiful. And you know, both of these are more kind of a clumping Mm -hmm. mounding, yes, right? yes, they do kind of clump and they um, they mound and uh, if you're looking for something that to cover up more area, you're going to want to look for your Eunominus Oolong's ghost here because these have dangling tendrils that kind of go on out and kind of fill in that spot for you. And these are, this one is nice because you get that really, you know, the white variegation, so mm -hmm. a lot of times the more shade with that one, the brighter that white will be. Exactly, exactly. And it's a nice, you know, because covering that large area and being evergreen, it's nice to, you know, for erosion controls or just filling up a large exactly. area. Exactly, especially because um, if you're looking for evergreens, you're going to want to look more over here because our ep epimediums do kind of brown a little bit during the winter. You kind of do want to cut them back a little bit during okay. that time. And it looks like you got some others down down at the end. Yes, yeah, so we've got our, um, our Pachysandras here, um, the straight uh, Pachysandra terminalis, which is uh, right here. And then uh, our green sheen, which has a little bit more of a nice, like little waxy um, sheen to it here. And then our silver edge, which has a nice, like little white silvery on the leaf here. And you know, another very durable, durable plant, you know, it, it will spread with the mm -hmm. little underground shoots, but not be super aggressive, right? Exactly, exactly. We don't want it to be too aggressive because then you're out there all the time. And we're talking more about things that will thrive um, without too much effort. Right. So we, you know, when we're planting these and taking the, is there things that we should be doing to the soil to kind of amend these a little bit? Um, I'd say um, not too much, uh, but you're going to want to still give it its, its nutrients to help it kind of root and get that strong foundation. Right. Kind of a d good typical dig a hole a little bit bigger, mix in some good planting mix. And exactly, then, yeah, exactly. And, and water them in well, so even though they are the drought drought tolerant. Mm -hmm. the yeah, you, of course. They are drought tolerant, but you want to give them that water so they do get that foundation. Great. You know, so, you know, Little Prince grows a ton of different ground covers and, you know, where, where can we go find, find our ground covers? Well, you can go to your independent garden center or you can go to littleprinceplants.com. And, you know, there's tons of information on your website or for more information on ground covers or a dry shade area, make sure you go to gardentime.tv and we'll click you over. So, Nick, we appreciate all the information and we look forward to getting out in the garden. Awesome. Thank you.